got your favorite commodity i've got your absolute favorite commodity gold and this is my my big bite take for today gold is it gonna continue this rally are we still looking for these longs is it sensible to be long at these kind of areas and um there's a couple of different reasons why i feel gold still could make some some upside right the the one kind of idea for it is the the fact that we've got a weaker us dollar right the weaker us dollar could help lift these commodities um a little bit the correlation between the dollar index and gold not really there right not really there but we've got a bigger feeling for the us dollar that it is uh going to be weaker and obviously gold um is you know pegged to the us dollar so we should expect some kind of reaction to that now obviously we've just broken into all-time highs here on gold and this would be a very good area for retail to start coming in now so this is why i've got two kind of feelings towards this and why is this a why is this a good area to start looking for for longs or is it even a good area to look for longs now a couple of things that i wanted to just take a note of obviously when i talk about gold i always talk about the commitment to trader reports i feel like Commodity markets and commitment to trader reports are very good together um, because it's a very much a, a market of physical asset that is bought and mm. sold and produced, right, mined, etc. So I feel like the, the commitment to traders works really well with these type of things. Now, the one thing that I've been talking about quite often with, with gold is the fact that short contracts from the commercials are not really at levels I would expect for a market to be so bullish, right? This market is at all time highs, right? It's a, arguably ridiculous levels. Why are the people that are selling this not going, sell it all, just sell it all? They're not doing that right. They're really not doing that, which makes me think that they still feel like gold has a little bit of a way to go before we see any kind of changes in that. Now, one thing or one alert that I am waiting for is for the commitment of traders report to show me when short contracts are up towards these kind of 448,000 contracts, because the last time we were in that sort of position was back here in 2022, March of 2022. Um, I'm pretty sure this was when we had the, um, or it was around the time of the invasion of of Ukraine. I'm not 100% on, on that, on the exact timing of that, but I'm pretty sure it was a similar time in these kind of few months, a uh, few weeks here. And um, short contracts on gold went significantly higher, and we saw a move down from sort of $2,000 all the way down to sort of around $1,600 in this kind of range play. And since then, obviously, the market has gone on this significant rally. So, I would be expecting short contracts to be at these similar levels if we were going to get a turning point, basically, in the price of gold. So that's what I'm looking for from the commitment of trader side of things. On a seasonal play, we've got a 88% correlation between this year's uh, price action and over 49 years worth of data, 85% over 20 years, um, minus 13% with the election. But we know this election year has been a bit of a wild one anyway. Um, but yeah, essentially, look at this little seasonal play here between sort of August 16th and September the 2nd, there usually is a little bit of a bull run um, in the price of gold. And with that correlation being quite strong there, I feel like this is kind of, again, kind of when I look at the price action, what's happening, look at the seasonals and then see that there is a seasonal pattern that could be playing out. I then go, okay, well, what is the price action telling me? And looking at the price action, we've broken to all time highs Nice little potential pattern forming here on the four hour chart right now. One of those little triangle patterns, you know, and if this is a confirmed breakout, then we could see some further upside here for the price of gold. So using the commitment of traders, which is against you currently, but not so far to the point that you think it's a short signal. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, so I want the commitment of traders commercials to be showing me that they're shorting at extreme levels. And they're right. not doing that right now. They're shorting because, or they're selling because price is higher. That's what they do. They're, they're hedges essentially. Um, but they're not doing it at levels you would expect if a market was going into all time highs. You would think that they're selling so aggressively that yeah. they'd want to take some, you know, take some money off. They want to maybe recoup even some, some, you know, so there's not, not seeing levels 
that really interests me in the commitment of traders right now. And that's why I still feel like this market's going to be fairly bullish. Uh, if if we do see significant contracts, sort of that four four hundred k, I would start thinking about it that we are going to get a bit of a short move. Mm -hmm.